Hello and welcome to Trains and Vietic and uh, episode I've been promising for a while and it's the review of the uh, track balusters uh, like I have said previously I only got four different ones these are the Prosser one, Green Scene, Golden Valley Hobby and a 3D printed one which I can't remember where I bought it from what I'll be doing today is testing these on a straight piece of track. Uh, I'll then have another three episodes at some point. One of it on a curved track, one of it on an incline, and then a final review with any additional information. And to make life fair, I have got this uh, chart. Well, but I can give everything a uh, um, give everything a mark. So let's go on to for testing. So this is the test sheet of what I'm looking for. Everything in this, there are four separate things which I forget a point or a zero, and then you've got to four four different. Thing. So that's a maximum of four points. So I'm looking for coverage. So each one is just going to have one run along the track. Ease of use. Is it easy to look? Does it come out with a finished look or do I need to do more touching up? And how easy is it to clean up? E.g. can I just take it off and pour it uh, for leftovers back in for a jug? Or do I need to... Um, spent ages clearing everything up so that's for uh, what I'm looking for um, I'll be doing a two camera setup so this is the track they are all exactly the same track they are Batman track for a standard length and each one will have one uh, go on it and then I'll be using woodland scene coarse ballast uh, grey on this uh, so everything's using the same ballast uh, as I'm doing double row this is the ballast I've been using on my layout so this will be what give me the best results for the gauge I'm using. So I'll set up the track and then I'll position this camera in one point, that camera over there in another point and then go through testing. I'll be working from backwards to front and then once everything is tested I'll go through and tell you what I think of everything and mark it off. So this is the track setup. Just just about covered on both cameras, but giving you completely different views. So time for the first one. This is for uh Woodland scene, scene ballast spreader, and I'm going to place that on the track there, and then fill the hopper up with a ballast. What I'll be doing on the final video is a. Uh, actually do a measured test so just pulling it long this is actually a mix of ballast and that was a ballast spread so that's just need a little bit of finishing off but nothing too major so that's a pass on finished look really easy to clean up I just lift that up and put it back in for a tub 
it's done a good job of coverage so that's good and I think whereabouts it haven't done I think this bit is due to me rather than the device so that's full marks so this is now for press press pressy one HO sold by Batman and I'm going to give it exactly the same test so fill the top up with ballast that's a little bit too much and then just pull it along for track and coverage is a file easy to use yes finished look nope easy to clean up yes so now for the golden valley hobby one again exactly the same setup fill for hop up and then just pull it along and try not to move it as I moved it, it did have a finished look complete coverage easy to use and again easy to clear up so that's four points so now for the last one which is a 3D printed one <coughs> again I'll fill it up and then just run it along so coverage barely pass it will need to go over several times easy to use yeah pretty good finished look nope and easy to clean up yes so with this you have a draw between the green scene and golden valley hobbies but price wise green scene win wins uh, and then the lo losers are for uh, 3D printed and for pr press the heat. So I'll clear up this mess and then I think I'll do each one individually on the bench to show you it separately. So what I'm going to do now is one at a time place one hand on the track to hold it in place and then use the other hand to pull it across and I'll be trying to reuse this ballast so You can see I stopped there and there, which caused it to have a little bit of a edge problem. Also, I should be tapping this down to try to keep it going. So up to there was actually very good. Then it was me which caused the problem there. And that was a green scene one. So I'll take this track up and just uh, away for access ballast and put the track back and try to use the ballast again this is a pr pretty one 
which was the worst one last time. So let's see how he does this time. A little bit better, but that screeching didn't really help. And again, at the beginning, it really didn't cover that well. So, it's better, but you can see quite a bit of green colour shining through. So, I won't take back my verdict on that one. I'm not saying if you have bought it to go out and replace it. I'm just saying if you're buying it, I wouldn't actually buy it. So, again... Clever board off. To clear it off, I'm just using a ruler. Place a track down. Try to get some ballast. I don't think this is actually fair on it. So just go and hold the track. Just knock that down as I hadn't filled it up properly. This is actually using quite a bit of ballast. So I think I'll redo this one again. Put the trap down, put him on there, and actually pour ballast directly into him as that what this is designed for. This time I made sure that it's at the front. And then I'm pulling it along. Uh, this time it's left quite a bit of uh, ballast on the track. So I think the Woodland scene is the one that's getting my vote. So I'll move that one across. Clean it all off. Put the trap down. Last one is a 3D printed one. And place him on the track. And again, a real letdown. You've got all three screen spots showing. This would need another going over. And I really don't like that one. So I'll just clear all that off. And then look at the other important bit with this. How do I get the uh, ballast on the track? So the 3D printed one, you can see why I'm having trouble with it, as it's just not going all the way along the track, it's the holes are in the wrong place, they should be nice square holes. But the rail will run quite nicely, and I reckon a bit of work you could get this to be a nice little one. Or if you're printing it out, just change those to square holes rather than round holes, and that will resolve the problem. Now this one, you've got nice square holes, but you've got a lot of flexibility for where about the track goes. So that can cause problems. Also it was sticking, but I don't understand why. So 
this one won't get my recommendation. This is a completely different setup. You dump a big load of track on there, then you clear the stuff off the track with that, then that is pushing along the track so just to spread everything out and that give it a final tidy. So that why that one work quite nicely. And then the final one which is the Woodland Scenic. Woodland Scene. And looking from here, you can see you've got two lots of notches. So this ride directly on the rail. You have holes which go up to the track. And this one I just found for best design. So this is the one I will I would buy. So now for the conclusion of this one. Winner, runner up, third and last. All of them do have their good points and bad points. And this is just my recommendation from my experience. Also there's three two more lots of testing to go on it. They might be better going around the corner, or they might be better on the incline. Uh, and might be different in better situations. But this is just my opinion. Thank you everybody for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment and tell your friends. Uh, my live stream on Wednesday will be a recorded live stream. It will be recorded on Wednesday, but I've just got something coming in for the evening, so it won't be live. Then we'll have another video on Saturday. So thank you for watching. Like I said, make sure to like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much. Richard.